everyone. I wanted to come on here and talk about some epiphanies that I've had in the last few days, the last week. I went through some major cycles and purging, you know, just a lot of healing. A lot of a lot of things were coming up for me to heal, and I noticed this was happening with a lot of the collective. With those breakthroughs, I've had some epiphanies, and I wanted to talk about some of them today. So as some of you guys have seen, I had an interview that was posted on Sunday and I'll be honest, and I, I'm sure some of you guys know, and if you've seen the interview, you probably saw my nerves, but I was extremely nervous for this interview. However, it was a really big interview and it was a big moment for me because I shared my story, not just about giving insight on the journey, but I shared how I met my twin flame, like very you know specific details about that, that Personally, I I was afraid. I was afraid to share that. But then I realized that was my ego that was afraid. That wasn't my higher self. My ego was afraid. Why? Because I was afraid of how my divine masculine would take it. I was afraid of getting rejected or of him running even more and him never coming back. And then I realized something. Why am I afraid of being in my truth? That is my truth, right? And if I feel that he's going to reject me, that just shows that I don't feel like he loves me or that he doesn't feel the same way when that's simply not true. And it showed that I don't love myself. It showed that I don't feel worthy of this divine connection if I am afraid to publicly show my journey. I know the twin flame journey should be sacred, however, it is a beautiful story and we shouldn't be afraid to share it, right? Granted, I know it's like kind of weird because it seems super woo-woo to a lot of people, but realistically, it's a beautiful journey and I'm so grateful for that journey. And that's, that's something else that I feel like I have to share with you guys is we should be more grateful for this journey instead of being so upset with your twin flame and, you know, resenting them, you should be grateful because you have risen, you have ascended, you have become this, you know, this new version of yourself. You have shed old layers of yourself. You have shed those wounds and those triggers. And we shouldn't fixate on how they're treating us because they're actually mirroring to us what we need to work on. You know, usually it's abandonment wounds or self lack of self-worth and lack of self-love, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And me not wanting to post that video or me being scared of posting that video, which is now on my YouTube channel, it's on my podcast, I'm not afraid anymore. Me being afraid was me feeling like I was feeling insecure. I was feeling that I would be rejected even more. I was feeling that I wouldn't be loved by him or that he didn't feel the same way. But here's the other epiphany I had. You share the same soul with your twin flame, right? We all know that. So if you share the same soul, the same core frequency with your twin flame, your twin flame loves you as much as you love them. They may run, whatever, but they feel the same exact way. So if you love your, if you actually love your twin flame unconditionally with no doubts, no resentment, no anger, they're going to love you. They're going to come in when you fully, fully accept that they are your twin and you love them with no expectations, no anger, none of that, right? But when you have doubts, when you have anger, when you have, you know, all these mixed up emotions, when you feel that they don't love you, they're going to feel the same way towards you. They're going to doubt you. They're going to be insecure. They're going to be scared. They are literally going to feel the exact same way that you do because you guys share the same energy, the same core frequency. That's how this journey works. It's not one loves more, one more than the other. This isn't a soulmate or a karmic connection. You guys are one and I need you to remember that. That was a big epiphany that I had. Nobody can compare to you in their eyes and nobody can compare to them in your eyes, right? That's why you can't pick someone else over your twin flame. They feel the same way. They may try to fight it because again, they're the 3D twin. They're not, they're the matrix twin. You're the spiritual twin. So of course you're going to think differently. You're going to lead with your heart and they're going to lead with their mind. But nobody compares to either of you in each other's eyes. Now, the second epiphany that I had is that in the interview that I had with Manny, I talked about a vision I had 
uh, last month and it was about the, the, the lions, right? I saw, you know, my divine masculine crossed my mind and suddenly I saw a big lion and then I saw a stampede of lions. And that to me was a symbol that the divine masculines are going to be coming forward. And at that time I thought, oh, this is going to be happening soon. However, for some time now, since last year, I've always felt that unions would be happening this year, but like I felt like they would, the energy would pick up around springtime, which is what I'm sensing still, right? There's gonna, there's a lot of reunion energy in the air. There's big shift. We can feel it, right? There's like, you know, you got that feeling something's coming, something's happening, right? However, I've, I've felt and I still feel that unions will be happening more towards the second half of the year. And I never really understood why, right? Like come August, right? And then we would have unions as a collective in 2025, like a lot of unions. And what's interesting is two nights ago, I had this epiphany and I was like, oh my God, Lions Gate Portal, which is August 8th, right? 8-8. And what's interesting is I've had a lot of clients, including myself, myself and many of my clients, my followers, got activated August of 2022. Okay. Now I'm going to put some weird theory to this and you guys can, you know, you can take it if it resonates. If not, then that's okay too. Cause I know not everybody got activated at the same time. However, myself and so many of my clients got active. There was a big, big shift August of 2022. The thing that I'm noticing is we all know, or at least most of us know the divine feminines lead the journey, right? Spiritually. And it starts with the divine feminine leading and evolving and growing and healing their wounds and whatnot. And what happens is the divine masculine then follows. But the divine masculine tends to be a little bit behind, right? Usually six months to 12 months. So wherever you were six to 12 months ago is where they are on their journey now. They're not gonna be as spiritually evolved, but they're gonna be healing themselves, okay? Now, what I found interesting is because I felt okay, Lionsgate portal this year is going to be huge. It then kind of coincided with this theory of mine is that a lot of the people that got activated in August, 2022, it would make sense because it took a whole year for the divine feminines to, or maybe a year and a half for the divine feminines to really stand in their power, really love themselves. You know, they're healing themselves. They're in their power. They're feeling confident. They're knowing their worth and they're not going to take anything less than when you add another year to that, for the divine masculines to do the work that comes out to august 2024 and i know this can sound like a really silly theory but i explained it to some people and they were like yeah that resonates so i wanted to share it with you guys if it doesn't resonate that's okay too but i just feel like it it makes a lot of sense because of the vision i had with the lions coming towards the divine uh, feminines but anyway those were some of my breakthroughs, some of my epiphanies. There was a lot of purging going on last week. I hope you guys are all, you know, clearing that out. It is good. Let it come up so you can heal, journal it, meditate, take some notes down in order to analyze your feelings, what is coming up, okay? And again, don't resent your twin. Don't have expectations. Love them unconditionally.